For the past 14 months, Senator Abiru has been at the forefront representing his constituents. Having stayed that long carrying out legislative business, it is now time for progress report. That is why this meeting is taking place here. Now, this is a temporary location right now. As you all know, this is my constituency office. A purposely built innovation hub or lab is, is under construction and we hope that by um, May, it will be completed and thankfully this set of um, young students will be will migrate them there and they will be the pioneer um, beneficiaries of that facility so now what has the senator been able to achieve so far we must also be ready to invest in the faculty that will drive it so what we have done is to partner with cc up so for those who know cc up cc up is a technology and innovation company that combines social capital and technology and innovation in order to bring about prosperity. So the programs, are, so our arrangement involves, for now, it involves about five different programs. So you Apart from that, the senator said he has been able to facilitate project worth over one billion naira in key areas for his constituency in the 2022 Appropriation Act. Finished, we recessed into another office there, and we, after the class, we brought the faculty, the, that is the, the faculty lead, that you call instructors, to come and share their curriculum with us. I mean, the, the executives could, they couldn't form, they couldn't fault that curriculum. Finished. At the end, Senator Abiru admitted that the economic and security challenges facing the country are daunting, but he believes that Nigeria will come out of it stronger. And I hope in 